Hope you all are doing well. I've had a nice morning so far, had a delicious breakfast. Did you see that dragon fruit? It is the most beautiful fruit ever and it's so tasty. I love the yellow dragon fruit. Um, the regular pink dragon fruit that I feel like is more common, it's not as flavorful and sweet to me. So whenever I see the yellow dragon fruit in season and at my grocery store, I get very excited. So that was such a treat and we have a nice day planned. I'm still just kind of catching up on computer work before I get ready. Haven't even brushed my teeth yet. I've been sipping on my coffee, but I'm gonna get ready soon and then we'll kind of kick off the day some more. And I still have quite a bit of computer work to do today, but We'll also squeeze in some fun things. I have the most beautiful loungewear haul to share, the coziest, the most beautiful and the coziest loungewear haul to share. So I'll do that soon. And then, yeah, just some editing and computer work. I also got in some new books. So I have a little book haul to share. Like I mentioned a few vlogs ago, I've just been trying to invest in my classic favorites. So I'll share that. And speaking of books, my bookcase for this wall is actually supposed to arrive today. I actually ordered three of them, but they called me yesterday and said that only one of them is ready. So we'll see, we'll see what happens. Maybe they'll deliver one, maybe they'll deliver all three. Not sure, but even if it's just one, I'm kind of excited to see how it'll all look together. And unfortunately, I can't really put it up yet, though, because we still haven't caulked and painted the moldings. So hopefully we'll get to that this weekend. But yeah, things are happening in the office. It's coming together slowly but surely. Um, and then for dinner, I want to make a butternut squash pizza. Kind of unique. I don't think I've ever had a butternut squash pizza before, but very autumn inspired and I love pizza. So I think we'll give it a try. And I wanna make the pizza dough from scratch. So I need to look for a good recipe and make sure I'm all prepped and ready for that. I know I have the ingredients, so I just need to make sure I allow enough time to let the dough rise or whatever it needs. So that's the plan, but I'm excited to spend the day with you all. got already feeling good I am still in my PJs though because I wanted to share the dreamiest haul with you all and I'm so thankful to be partnering with skims for this portion of today's video every single piece I own from skims makes me feel so comfortable yet confident at the same time they really have just created such beautiful sets and loungewear pieces and shapewear and underwear to really help you feel comfortable yet put together so i am such a big fan and this pj set is the short sleeve copper sleep set and it is so buttery soft it's really breathable which makes it extra comfortable for sleeping and i'm wearing a size small in this sleepwear set and it's such a great flattering fit i really love how the tie on the shorts it's on the inside so if you want to you can fold it over and have the little tie show or you can keep it tucked in which i feel like is great that you kind of have that option okay this sleep henley dress in coco is unreal it is so gorgeous so flattering really hugs in all the right places and i keep thinking of the quote oh you should wear cute pjs because you never know who you'll meet in your dreams and i feel like this is just the definition of beautiful sleepwear and you know i personally spend so much time working from home and I am more of a homebody. So having options like this where I feel so comfortable and at ease, but I still feel so put together is just what I'm looking for. So Skims has me covered in every sense of the word. Next up, we have this waffle bra paired with the waffle shorts. And these are great pieces for more 
transitional weather. So yes, we're going into the colder months, but you know, still not super chilly, especially where I live in Florida. So this is a great option. And I've been loving to kind of mix and match with my pieces. So as you can see, I paired these with my cozy knit zip up and I've been loving pairing this bra just with a bunch of different jackets and some high-waisted jeans. It's just a super cute look and great layering piece. And something I love about the waffle collection is how the inside of the fabric is extra soft. So the part that really hugs and touches your skin is designed to be the most comfortable. I also ordered this sleep tank and sleep briefs, which are truly the softest fabric. They just feel so luxe. And this is another great option for sleeping and being as comfy as can be. Again, just really flattering and form to your body so, so well. Okay, I'm thriving in this waffle onesie. It is so incredibly comfortable. I feel like I can just move so freely and I'm just all covered and cozy. And this is going to be such a staple for me this season. I feel like this would be so fun, of course, to lounge around your home in. But you could even pair this with a long coat, some boots, and go to the airport, do what you need to do, and just stay super comfortable as you live your life. I love how the buttons go all the way down so you can kind of tweak the neckline to whatever you feel comfortable in and I just absolutely love this talc color as well. Okay, how comfy and chic is this cozy knit outfit? I feel like it's hard to pick favorites because everything is so, so good, but the cozy knit is just unreal. It's like wearing your favorite softest blanket. And I love how even though it is, you know, a thicker and fuzzier material, I still feel like somehow it manages to be flattering. I feel like a lot of times with kind of thicker and fuzzy material, it can kind of do the opposite, but I feel like this is working for me. And I just feel like the fact that I have this in my closet now is not fair to my other clothing because I'm always going to want to wear this. It's just so, so comfortable. And I love how all of the skims bottoms really fit at your natural waist. And I just, again, really feel like that adds to the flattering aspect of all of their pieces. I'm wearing a small medium in my cozy knit. And of course it looks so great paired all together. We look so coordinated, so put together, but I also love mixing and matching and like this zip up I've worn with so many different outfits already and you could even dress up this crop, wear it with some leather pants, some boots and some gold jewelry and go out on the town. I mean, it's really so versatile, but just know I will be living in this whenever I'm at home. I saved my favorite for last. I'm in the cozy knit in this beautiful bone color. I look like a cloud. I feel like a cloud in the best way. This fabric is truly just so cloud-like and of course really cozy and warming, but it's still so super stretchy and breathable. So it's great for all kinds of weather and just staying cozy no matter what season you're in. I love the shorts as well. And again, they're a high-waisted fit on your natural waistline, which we love. And the tank is beautiful. And I can pair these two pieces with so many different styles and occasions. Of course, I love the robe as well. You can wrap yourself up in it, fresh out of the shower or cozied up on the couch with your coffee, just living your best, coziest life. So I really hope you all enjoyed this Skims haul. And if you'd like to shop any of the pieces, I will have them all linked below. And I'll also include the sizes I'm wearing so you guys have that reference. But Thanks again to Skims for partnering with me and I think I might stay in this outfit for the rest of the day or actually I'll change to my joggers because I'm kind of feeling like I like a bit more coverage right now. So I'm going to change to that outfit and then I think it's time to make ourselves some lunch and then some iced coffee. I'm ready for it. salad with 
feta, sunflower seeds, veggies, and a yummy like French vinaigrette dressing. And then <laughs> weird combo, but I'm also gonna have some chips and salsa. I usually like for the past few years, I haven't really craved salsa because we just buy the one in the jar, but I started buying like the fresh salsa where like the tomatoes are more um, whole. They're not as like mashed up and I love it. And this one's like a nice spicy one. So it's super delicious. Also good news. Our bookcase arrived. I really have no idea if this is just one of the bookcases or if it's all of them. It's really hard to tell and I'm confused because they called me yesterday saying that only one of them was going to arrive, but there are four packages. So I think we're just going to have to <laughs> see. We're going to have to open up and see. And I don't think we'll get to it today, but hopefully in the next vlog, the shelves will be up and ready to be decorated. And Mr. Palmerton is going to have this little Kong with a frozen banana and frozen peach for his lunchtime snack. Yes, good boy. Good boy. wrapping things up I started looking at Christmas decor in Pinterest call me crazy I'll agree with you I am definitely premature but I just really am excited and of course I love this season so much but especially with you know what I do and making videos I want to start just like planning it out and kind of getting excited about it so I'm just trying to I, I might not decide beforehand maybe I'll just wait until I go shopping but I'm trying to kind of think about what direction I want to go in. If I want to do like pretty neutral decor, I'm thinking I want to do more color. I'm thinking last the past couple of years I've done a good amount of color, but I'm thinking I want to like add in. I really love the Opal House collection from Target in the past, and just how like they you know bring in more of those eclectic colors, and it's just super cozy. So. Yeah, I have to dwell on it a bit more, but I wanted to show you my book haul. We're really getting ready for our bookcases. So I ordered this set of Jane Austen books. Look how absolutely gorgeous it is. So now I have this set of Jane Austen books and then the Puffin Bloom collection I showed you guys a couple vlogs ago where it has Little Women, Heidi, The Little Princess, and what was the last one? Oh, Anne of Green Gables. So. I love the classics and I'm currently reading Emma by Jane Austen so this one and I'm about halfway through and I'm really enjoying it I will say though these books were written in the 1800s so or wait when were they written I know Jane Austen she was born in the 1800s let's see okay yes yeah, so these were written in the early 1800s so not even like the late 1800s they were written a very long time ago. So the language and writing style is super different than like, you know, just a typical 2021 novel you might read. So I will say it can be a little tricky sometimes. Like for me personally, I have to be in the mood <laughs> for this kind of book. Like it's it's a lot more wholesome and just like the the details of their lives and the characters lives that um she writes about are just very interesting so I really enjoy it and this one Pride and Prejudice you've probably heard of that if you kind of want to get or if you're interested to learn about these stories I would definitely recommend watching Pride and Prejudice the movie it is one of my favorite movies it's absolutely stunning my heart like starts being a little faster when I talk about it. It's just great. So yeah, I'm really excited about these books and not to mention they're just absolutely gorgeous. I'll show you guys some of the other covers. So Pride and Prejudice has the beautiful bird on it. 
Jane Austen has this cute little chair. I mean, Emma <laughs> has this cute little chair. And then we have these flowers, beauty, beauty. So I'll add a nice little color. And then Love and Friendship. I feel like I want to read this one next. It has those cute shoes. And then we have the palm leaves or actually that looks like a feather. Yeah, I think that's a feather. And that's on Persuasion. And then we have Northanger Abbey. We have some keys. And Mansfield Park. And this looks like a chain or necklace. So very, very stunning. I was so excited when I found this because I was just going to order Emma. I did want to order Pride and Prejudice as well, but I know I wanted to read Emma next. So I was just looking on Amazon and then I saw this whole collection. I'm like, well, I'm probably going to want to read all of them anyways. And I do have a bookcase to fill up. So I did it and I'm very happy about it. So I'm just going to put this away and then We'll get started on our cooking for the evening. I looked up the pizza dough recipe and it said it takes about an hour. It's 30 minute prep and getting the dough all ready and then 30 minute rise time. So we'll get started on that first and then we'll prep all of the other ingredients and I'll show you guys the recipe. Oh, also I wanted to ask you if you guys do booing or you got booed in your neighborhood or wherever you live. We do it in our neighborhood and we got booed the other night. And basically it means you get like a basket of goodies and your neighbor comes and boos you. And it's funny because it's supposed to be like a secret thing, but everyone has the ring doorbells nowadays with the video camera. So <laughs> we have like a recording of someone dropping it off, but I don't know who it was. So it's still kind of like a mystery, but it's really cute. It's a cute thing that our neighbor, our neighbors do, and they do it for like Valentine's Day and stuff as well. I don't know who starts it, but everybody's like so festive and sweet. So we still have to boo someone else. I need to print out the little sheet because basically you create a basket of goodies and so I'm just gonna do a bunch of fall goodies and then you print out the paper that says you've been booed and it just gives them directions like to go boo to other people and to spread the cheer, the holiday cheer. So it's just like a cute funny thing but I'm interested if anyone has heard of that or they do it as well or if it's kind of like a thing only where I live. Let me know. Okay, here's a photo of what we're trying to accomplish tonight with this recipe. It's half-baked harvest, no surprise here. We absolutely love Tegan, she's the best. So yeah, looks absolutely cheesy, delicious, and autumn inspired. out of the oven it looks and smells amazing what a day how good was dinner <sighs> so good like what would you rate it one out of ten um <laughs> you know you can't get quick answers for me <laughs> it's a Fully think about it before See, you can it. It's like it. a eight and a half. Okay. That was really yeah, good. Yeah, it was really good. And I mean, I really like butternut squash, but like if I was going to do my favorite pizza, I wouldn't do butternut squash pizza. Yeah. But like it was so good. And the crust was like, that's my favorite yeah. part. Usually. I do not relate to people who don't eat the crust. That is my 100% top favorite part of pizza. Yeah, that was great. It was just the so sweet good. part. That was like good, but also I would typically prefer just like savory pizzas. Yeah, because there was a little bit of honey in it, and then the, the butternut squash is a fruit. Squash. The squash is a fruit. Did you know that? I did, because you oh. said it in a video or something. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that surprised me. Day. 
we've had a nice morning so far. It's about 10.30 now. Went on a walk this morning, did some yoga, which I haven't done in so long, but it felt so nice just to stretch and kind of move my body in ways I haven't in a while. And then we've just been like hanging out and we're about to go to a coffee shop. So I haven't even had my morning coffee. I'm ready for it. Um, but we're gonna go to a coffee shop and there's this little pumpkin patch by the coffee shop. So we're gonna do both. And I wanted to take you before I ended the vlog because I know, I, I at least I feel like a lot of you would appreciate a little coffee pumpkin patch date. So that's the plan for this morning and then just gonna be on my computer and edit for the rest of the day. Golden, golden things. Mountain Laurel high fives for miles in spring. We are back home from our little outing. I got a taste of autumn latte. It has espresso chaga, cinnamon, and like a couple other like pumpkin pie spices. Very warming and delicious. And now I'm just gonna do computer work for pretty much the rest of the day. And I think we might work on the office wall if we get time, hopefully. <laughs> Hoping to kind of wrap that all up soon. But thank you guys so much for watching this vlog and spending time with me. And I cannot wait to see you super soon. Bye. <laughs>